dear brothers and sisters, these uh, readings of today gravitate around the prophecy, the power that Jesus has to teach, because Jesus has three main powers. He is a priest, he is a king, and he is a prophet. As a priest, he sanctifies humanity. As a king, he rules humanity, and very especially the church. And as a prophet, he teaches. The prophet teaches something that no teacher can teach. The prophet is a kind of teacher that is above the normal uh, understanding of the word teacher, because normally the a, a teacher teaches something of the present and something of the past. He teaches something that he learned from somebody else, and he is telling those who don't know yet what it is, and he's teaching. He's teaching something that exists, something that everybody should know, something that already happened. He's a historian. So the teacher teaches, but the prophet is a teacher of the future. And no one, <laughs> no one can go to school and say, look, you know, I want to, to, uh, to learn how to be a prophet. I mean, my friend, you know, uh, there, is no, there is no curriculum here, there is no classes for you. Uh, you have to go to God. <laughs> He's the only one who can teach you how to be a prophet. And Moses already, 900 years, 1,000, 1,500 years actually, uh, before Jesus Christ, he is the one who is going to say, look, a prophet is coming. A teacher is coming. And you have to follow this prophet, which is not the false prophet as Jezebel had uh, brought to Samaria, you know, th those uh, 400 uh, prophets of Baal, the prophets of the world, the prophets of the demon, actually, the prophets of the world of that time. And uh, they came to uh, Samaria to, to teach the Jews the right things between quotes. And Elijah who was the real prophet, he said, no, he's, they, all these are false prophets. I am the only one. He was alone. Hmm? One against 400. He was not afraid because he had the truth on his side. And he said, I am the true prophet. And he proved it by his actions. Hmm? We will always have false prophets because the devil is proud. And the devil sees that Jesus the Son of God, Jesus is a prophet, and he wants also to be, you know, like him. And this is what we, we are going to see in this episode that happened in the synagogue of Capernaum on the Saturday. Uh, Jesus was a rabbi, he was a teacher, so he goes to the synagogue. And it is totally according to the law of Moses that uh, at the synagogue, anyone could stand up and explain what was uh, read. Hmm? explain the scriptures and Jesus goes because he is the real <laughs> the real teacher he's the teacher and prophet and uh, so he goes and he uh, he uh, uh, preaches to the in, in the synagogue but he is accompanied already by his disciples the disciples were the church which is the continuation of the synagogue the, uh, the, the real church that uh, our Lord Jesus Christ was going to found, and he's going to teach to them and to the others. The devil is also there in the, in the in inside an unclean spirit, as a man had an unclean spirit, as St. Mark is telling us here in the Gospel. And uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> the devil, you know, hearing Jesus speaking, you know, he's envious, and he he comes out and says, oh, I, I know who you are, <laughs> meaning I'm also a prophet. You know, I can tell you what you came, where you're coming to do. You're coming to destroy us. Hmm? And you are the Holy One of God. But actually, he was wrong because it's not enough to say somehow the truth, but it is important to say the truth with the right intention. To truth guide us in a direction. And the devil didn't have the direction. He, he was telling a truth, but in the wrong direction. So he wants to call the attention about himself and detract the attention from Lord Jesus Christ. His intention is wrong. And actually, he will, he will say something which is not 100% true. 
because he's calling Jesus the Holy One of God. Now, Jesus was not the Holy One of God. He was God himself, which is much more to be the Holy One of God, as if he, Jesus was coming from God and he was a representative of God. No, no, <laughs> the, uh, the devil was wrong. And uh, he was teaching something that it's not the, uh, the, the full truth. And this is something that uh, we will have the devil always through history trying to teach us something that is not the whole truth, that is a mixture of truth and, and, uh, and, and wrong, right and wrong, and uh, the, uh, that the church has to, uh, to, to get away from this. Because as Moses says, you know, uh, he, he will say that if someone, if anyone who does not heed the words that he shall speak in my name, I myself will hold him accountable. If someone... But if it is a prophet, ah, that is different. No, no, you're not only going to be accountable. Something even worse is going to happen to you because look what he says. But if a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, so if a prophet who is supposed to be uh, repeating what God is telling him, if this prophet is saying something else that it doesn't, doesn't come from God, or who presumes to speak in my name a word that I have not commanded him to speak, so he's saying something that was not given by, by God, then something worse is going to happen to this prophet. What is going to happen? The prophet shall die, shall die spiritually, and very likely, um, which is less important actually, but he, he will die even physically. Moses is already telling, telling whom? He's telling the church, that is going to start, you know, many centuries after. But Moses is such a prophet that he's already telling the church what to do. So the one who, is, who uh, is supposed to teach in the church, which is a prophetic institution, and he doesn't say the words of God, and he doesn't um, apply the words of God to reality, then uh, something worse is going to happen. It's not going to be just hold accountable. He's going to die. We have to, um, to understand that we need to follow not only the words of God, but also the intention of God, the direction of God, where God wants us to go. And what, um, what we do has to be in accordance to what we say. We cannot say something and do something the opposite because then we are in a contradiction and we create confusion. So we cannot just say the word of God and then, and then uh, do and, and ask other people to do something that goes against the word of God because that creates confusion. Confusion doesn't come from God. It comes from the devil. The devil is the father of confusion. We need to ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, <clears throat> who is the mother of the prophet, for excellence of our Lord Jesus Christ, because uh, Mary knew what was the word of God, and Mary knew what was the intention of God, what what Jesus want us to do, and what Jesus want us to preach, and uh, she is the one who is going to guide each one of us in, by following Jesus in what He said and following Jesus in what He wants us to do.